my name is Elijah Stronghart Evanson. I'm a local Seattle sculptor and uh, I have a studio here in the International District in Seattle and this is where I do most of my work. Uh, this particular uh, material is called Paltaya. It's a cement clay. It comes as a powder, you mix it together, you have a few hours of working with it uh, with a palette knife. Uh, but what's wonderful about it is its strength and not having to make a mold or uh, uh, cure something in a, in a big uh, kiln. Uh, it cures without having to fire it. I usually sculpt it as much as I can in the hour and a half that I get. So we work on little bits and pieces like leaves and, and hops, uh, little sections. And then after about a day, it becomes the consistency of balsa wood. And then I can do some minor carving, some more detailing, a little bit of sanding. And then if I keep uh, water on it, it will continue to, uh, continue to cure and it becomes quite strong, much uh, stronger than a normal cement you just buy at a hardware store. It's really nice to do something this large and it also is strong enough that it could go outside if it needed to. Uh, sometimes uh, we have these little fibers that are in it which do make it really strong but they'll get on the surface and we uh, use a blowtorch to burn them off to make it smooth again. But that first day of curing, I still have a chance to do some detailing, so there's a little extra steps uh, at the end of the process. Often I'll go over it with some uh, uh, cement stain, some paint, just to give it some life, and uh, then that, that's pretty much the end. Green Man is an ancient um, European, British, uh, uh, archetype. You see these green faces, these green man faces in old cathedrals, old buildings throughout Europe. They were often in cathedrals even though they weren't Christian in nature, they were probably more likely pagan and uh, they have kind of always been there and people have always kind of loved them because they represent the spirit of nature and just uh, the connection that humans have with nature. And the Green Man really appealed to me because it was an ancient concept and it was also, uh, it just had a, a feeling that I connected to in Seattle. As far away as, uh, you know, we're very far away from Europe where it was the initial idea was created, but it still seems to maintain uh, its integrity as an idea all the way in Seattle. Uh, this uh, particular Green Man is being commissioned uh, by a local uh, brewery and it's a hops Green Man, which uh, there was always kind of a a deity aspect about the Green Man and a lot of people believe it has a lot to do with nature worship and uh, uh, the, here it being hops is a particular type of worship which is uh, about the beer and what nature can do for us.